a, uh, is it safe to say you're a hairdresser? Nah, man, I'm a barber, dude. I'm a barber, man. Sorry, a barber. Yeah. We'll find out the difference between a hairdresser and a barber. I don't. I don't mean to. Is that is it a hairdresser just a feminine term? Is that yeah, what? yeah, man. And I use different. Um, what is that? Scissors. I use them. Wait, you don't scissors. know what the term I, for scissors is? No, I said it. Oh no, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Shears. Yeah. I use I use scissors um, and and clippers usually clippers and I fade you up you know what I mean and I give you braids or either way either or whatever you ask it for like all of you dudes if you guys need something I put you know I uh-huh. I I'll, I'll put something nice in the back of your head you know what I mean all right great. Like well, let's, well before we get to that let me introduce you you're uh, jazz is yeah, yeah yeah jazz, yeah do you jazz. have a last name yeah yeah jazz huh jazz jazz yeah <laughs> that is a very <laughs> pretty me, name yeah I go by jazz jazz. I go All by right, Jazz Jazz. Jazz. You can, I mean, you can go. I mean, in high school, they called me Martinez. Oh, because that's your last name? But call me Jazz Jazz. <laughs> okay, great. Wait, wait, so what's been going on from high school to now? What have people been calling you? Huh? Jazz. Okay, so high school, it was Martinez. Martinez. Then after high school, Jazz. jazz. Up to this moment, now ja- we're Jazz Jazz. Jazz Jazz. Okay, great. All right. Wow. You know, because it's just so much happening that you like, oh. Yeah, no, you know I, what I'm saying. You like all. Oh, I get that. You feel that, right? Well, where do you uh, practice your barbership? Uh, Sunnyside Queens, 46, and Queens Boulevard. Man, come out, check it out. It's called Fades and Braids. You know, it's me and two other dudes. Um, hmm. Both of them are Martinez. Right, well, related to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're my cousins. Cousins. Both of them are my cousins. Okay. So we, um, you know, we hook you up, dude. You know, like if you want. Let's say it's like, oh, I'm into um, freaking like lollipops, right? That's meaning, meaning you're into lollipops. You yeah, eat yeah. them a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, you're, okay. you're like all about them. Like all you do is lollipops. You Wait, so I mean? so I would come into you, yeah, and I would say, hey, I really like I'm into, lollipops as a snack. I'm into. Lo- I'm all about lollipops. Is there anything you can do with my hair? Yeah. that would represent that. Right. Okay. And that's that's when I put a tongue on the back of your head. Hmm. Wait. So you shave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, a I, picture of a tongue, as I'm, if as if someone is like licking the back yes. of your head, like your head yeah. is a lollipop. There you go. So there my you go. DVD came out. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you're into DVDs, right? So I would like shape like lips, because that dude talks in it. Wait a minute. It sounds to me. Like all you're doing is like lips and tongue. Like, like what if someone was into the Rolling Stones? Yeah, yeah. Then I have a mouth open, singing. What if I was like a dentist and I wanted like something in the back of my head? Yeah, um, I mean, I would try to get your whole face in it, but I'll probably just get part of a cheek. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's like, oh, let me try to get this face, but trying to get a whole face on the back of a head is like that's tough. Yeah, thank you, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to imagine what what, what part of a cheek would look like on the back of someone's. What head. What if I was like I'm 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 very I'm a fan of uh, Indonesia. Ooh. What would happen then? Oh man, I mean, oh, shit. There's there's only a handful of yous. So if if I could get to it, I do. But I try to get like, you know, that little part between your bottom lip and your chin. Uh huh. It's uh, it's I think it's called um. Shit, what is that part? If called? I came into your barber um, shop, under lip? Yeah, dude, that's what I'd put on there. If I told you I'm into Indonesia, you would yeah. put that's if, bad. If you're all about Indonesia, huh? Yeah, I would want something relating more to Indonesia. Okay, being what? Frank. All right, all right. Oh, sh- okay. So you'd be one of them kind of cu- customers. All right. So that, yeah, where I'm like, I want. You said you did anything relating to the thing. Yeah, yeah. So what's your what's about Indonesia that you love? Man, uh, the shape of it. How about that? Is that? How about yeah. What about this? the shape of the country? That couldn't yeah. be too hard to shave into the back. Yeah, or yeah. noodles. Noodles. Yeah, and then a mouth eating noodles. I get. Yeah. It. <laughs> Come on, Eugene. Oh man. Sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't do the mouth eating noodles. I would probably do a smile because you just finished. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because everybody after noodles is like, mm. so it's usually a little smirk or a smile, depending on like your face. If you're a smiley dude. That I do a full smile, but if it looks like you're just a smirker, then I'm like, you only smirk after noodles. So jazz, jazz, I, I'm I, and jazz, forgive jazz. me because I I don't know anything about you. I have no, I, you gave me no information. But from what I can ascertain, you are a barber who likes to shave 
the the shape of smiles onto the back of people's heads. I like lips, tongues, smiles. What you love about it, you know? Right. Like I'm trying to get into what you love, so I try to, you know, give you more of what you love. I actually disagree. I don't think you're trying to really explore what people love. I think you're just trying to shave mouths and things like Yeah, does it. anyone else disagree here on the panel? Nathan, I mean, I'm right. Um, I brought up a perfectly great place. I don't know. We, like, we should take a we should take a vote on this, Nathan. What do you think? Well, are you able to do other things too, or is it just? I mean, I'm able to do a lot of stuff. I'm a barber, man. You but know, but you I mean? you don't you won't take requests. I'll take a request. Give me a request. What do you want? I don't know. A maple leaf? Would you do? A maple leaf. Nathan's uh. from Canada. Oh, okay, 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 okay. How does that make you feel, man? <laughs> Well, would you? Uh, when you mean? Just tell me. Well, how does that make you feel? You I know guess, what I'm saying? I don't know. When little... you see the maple leaf, are you proud of your country? Yeah, or... I guess a little patriotic. Okay, then I'll give you puckered lips, man. You know what I mean? I put puckered lips on your the back of your head. Puckered lips? Yeah, because you're like, mm, you know, I'm happy. You're like proud when you're proud. You puck your lips. I don't do that. <laughs> Look in the mirror, man. When you're proud of yourself, Nathan, let's be fair. You're puckering your lips right now. Just thinking about it. I told no, you my... to not give him an emotion because he'll turn it into lips. <laughs> So you just do this specific thing? I do what you want. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> you don't so I do what you want. <clears throat> well, I don't do what I want. You're right. I do what you want, dude. <laughs> right. All right. So I think we get, Jazz, Jazz, we get what's happening here. But uh, tell me about your cousins. What are, the, what are their specialties? Um, uh, Martinez, that dude, he, um, he rocks, like, you know, body parts. Like, he does, like, chest, like, the uh, upper body part. Wait, he he shaves people's chests? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He shaves people's chests. That's his his lone responsibility at your barber shop. Well, like <laughs> shaving it, people's chests, shaving chests and back, like the mid section of people's. Does this bodies. happen at barber shop? Have you guys? Ever have been? you ever tried to shave your own chest? It sucks. Mm. Yeah, twenty minutes every morning. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's how how long it takes you, dude. I've got a dog. That does it for you? No, that I that you shave. That you shave? We shave together? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a strange story. Yeah. yeah is Fanny the author involved in this? Doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> doesn't, make a, doesn't make a ton. Well, it, say it takes you 20 minutes to shave your chest every morning. Think how much more convenient it is for you to go into this gentleman's barber shop, have someone shave it for you. Yeah. And, and then about if I, your day. And then I if I wanted it, to know how I felt about my chest being shaved, I could just look at the back of my head yeah. <laughs> right. and I would know. I how think, do you feel about it? <laughs> I think it's fair to say that it isn't more convenient to go to Queens and to shave your chest <laughs> than it is to shave your own chest. I don't know. You're from Queens? Uh, yeah. How, how did you, Scott, how did you guys connect? Look, a lot of people, yeah. you know... Uh, our publicist basically goes out there, and honestly, I think it's a terrible, terrible uh, job that he's doing. But he goes out there and he he looks for interesting, you know, characters. interesting characters. And I think sometimes they're too interesting because you know this guy. I mean, uh, can, can you shut off your headphones for a second? Can I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just take them off. Don't. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh. just don't listen to it for a second. But guys, this guy. I mean, he doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, are you getting the sense of this? I mean, this is like he. I feel like I was the first person to stand up for. I know. Yeah, you yeah. were almost rude. Yeah, yeah, I was. You were, you were rude. rude about if it. If I wasn't simply right, I would yeah. be rude. Yeah, yeah, if no. it wasn't completely accurate, I yeah. asked him to take off his his headphones at yeah, least. Know. You know what I mean? I didn't want to insult the guy. No, no. You know what I mean? I wasn't but, insulting him. I was disagreeing. Hmm, I don't know. I Sometimes was, disagreeing can be insulting. I think I should, do not agree with that. <laughs> hey, fuck you. I think we oh, should ask unfollowed. Him. <laughs> I'm going to start yelling unfollowed at people in the street now. <laughs> That should I, be your show. I think we should ask Jazz Jazz if he wants to be one of the Titans. What do you yeah. guys think? Do you think he does comedy, you mean? Or, or just like to go on tour with he you does. guys? I think he's a tight. I think he's an artist. He's specific. He yeah, knows yeah. what he does. He is the best we act of yeah. hair. All right, let's get him. Yeah. Let's get his headphones back on. What right. do you say? Hey, uh, Jazz Jazz, go ahead. Put, put those headphones back on. Mm. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't believe that that's what it took. When you take something off, that means that you can't can hear turn anything. Turn them off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, AJ has a question for you. Okay. Uh, what up, dude? Would you would you want to be one of the Titans with me, Eugene, and Nathan? Titans? Yeah. You know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have shields and shit? Yep. Yeah, we've got wrath and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Most yeah. of our job is to play with Zeus's balls, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's what we do. Yeah. Is that what you do? It's one of our jobs. Do you love it? Are you uh, all about that? If you're all about it, tell me how you feel. It's sort of like, does a cat like to meow? I don't know. I'm a titan. I play with Zeus's balls. I can't tell you whether it's, it's good or bad. It's nature. It's just that's a tree. I'm a tree. 
bad example, but the cat one was good. Yeah, the, was. I got you on the, on the cat. Jess, Jess, how would you feel about going on tour with these guys? Yeah, yeah, what would we do? Well, you would clearly just only shave lips and th- claim it was more than that. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so mad. No, no, man. I mean, I don't take it offensively. I mean, how I feel about you if I was going to shave it on the back of my head? Yeah, yeah. Right you, now? A uh, frowny frown. Probably not. It'd probably be like vampire teeth. <laughs> You you feel about him like vampire, vampire teeth? Like I would do like the yeah. the, the hiss of a cat. Yeah, yeah. I see. You know, like the, you're you're warning him to get away. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh okay. Not not that you see me as a <clears throat> as, as a delectable a, as a sensual treat? vampire that you can't escape. That I'm just like I am. I'm sex trying to imagine you as a sensual vampire <laughs> that no one can get away from. It's just <laughs> like, like a, just my glance is just like you got like an Eddie Cullen. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Thing going on. Yeah. I'm made of pure danger, sexy danger. <laughs> have you ever Have you ever been on the road with anyone before? Uh, yeah, uh, we go on like road trips with my cousins, and um, like we hit up a bunch of different like barber expos. Oh yeah, 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 so like we'll conventions. Go, and yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll hit up some conventions in Jersey or um, Pittsburgh or mm-hmm. um, uh, like McKeesport, Pennsylvania, or um, Lansing, Michigan. There was one that they had, like, these new um, shears that had um, lights on it. And we are like, I don't know. And then we'd leave. And then we'd go to this other convention, and we're like, oh, oh, man, they got these new uh, clippers that got, like, music coming off of it. And we're like, maybe we'll get that. And then it's like, no. And so we'd leave. And then um, there's this one. Oh, there's this one in Orlando. Yo, dudes. There's this one in Orlando once. They had um, new, um, what is that called? It's like the cloak, so the hair don't go on your shit. You don't know what these things are called? Your cloak, man. It's like the barber drape? or the Yeah, 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 the, sure. Like a robe? Yeah, like yeah. a robe, like yeah. a drape. Yeah. I don't need to tell you what it is when I put it at you. You know what I mean? I know but what... it would be funny if you did. <laughs> would it? This is a cloak. The... <laughs> what is this? Yeah. <laughs> what? Get this thing off of me. Yeah. How dare you? Be... Oh, no, 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 it's a cloak. <gasps> Oh, all right then. Proceed. Yeah, they had cloaks like that, but they were made, um, they were clear. Hmm. Yeah. Clear cloak. That's clear interesting. cloaks. Yeah, so there's nothing to it, but we bought a bunch of those. <laughs> so you do have a yeah, bunch yeah, of those? Yeah, 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 we got a bunch of those. Okay. Those were cheap. And this is at a barber convention? Yeah, yeah, Barber Expo. Uh-huh. It's an expo, so they uh-huh. got like all this new... First I thought you were saying Barbara convention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, what do you mean, man? I thought that's Why what you were I saying. Why that? Because well, I thought that's what you were saying at first, but you were actually but saying... But why? Why? But why would I say that, though? Because you... Well, I, I was wondering. I didn't know if it was yeah. like a Barbara Streisand thing or something, but... Yeah, you were saying Barbara, which makes more sense. It was my mistake. I, You know, we don't have to sidetrack. But. Nah, man. In Nathan's defense, they sound similar. Oh. I mean, with your accent. You slur your words a little. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. you slur your words. You have a bit of a lazy jaw oh. when you talk. Cool. Yeah. You, you like it? Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, just want, do you have any? Uh, I'd love to see like if you have pictures of your work. Or yeah, anything. yeah, 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 yeah. I got. Um, I mean, I got. If you look at the back of my head, mm-hmm. that's one, like, and you could take a picture of Can it. Can I come around back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go around back there, Nathan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think about that? Describe it for us because we can't see it over here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what's that, what's that supposed to be? No, no, you, you describe it. Like, yeah. what do you think it is? What do you think I'm all about? It's a lot like seeing a painting. I want to hear literal- your interpretation before. What do you think I'm all about? I should be obvious. Well, it literally looks like someone took a razor mm-hmm. and, like, shoved it in the back of their head for a couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and then? I think it, it... And then turned the razor off and went out and came here. <laughs> so then, how, what do you think I'm into? <laughs> I guess not looking good. Come on, man. Come I look, Nathan. Come on. I look. I, I, I know. I'm being mean. Yeah, yeah you're being mean. Search, yeah. search deep in your feelings of I, how how that makes you feel. You know, that's not that's not an indication of your skill. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't expect someone who does mouths on the back of people's heads to be able to do it to themselves because how would you see? The mirrors, man. So how did you do yours? Mirrors, man. You think I say stuff all weird? I say Barbara and stuff. I said mirrors. You know what a mirror is? Do you like mirrors? Yeah, are you saying Mary? Mirrors. No, I heard are you, you saying say Mary. Mirror. Mirrors. No, I heard you say mirrors. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you set it up like um, like a ricochet. So I'm like looking in one, and then it it makes me see the back. 
So, so it's, like a, my it's like a ricochet. Yeah, my eyes are ricocheting off the first one so that I see what's behind me. Well, how many mirrors are you looking into? Three. three. Wait, it takes three mirrors yeah. to, to see two. the back of your head. Yeah. Nice. It's like, um, like you know, when you go to JCPenney and you try on a suit. You walk yeah. into, you stand up, and there's those three mirrors. How I, often do, are you in JC Penning trying to try on a shit, suit? I wish more. If more people came to the shop, I wish more. You know what I mean? Yeah. I you like a, suits? I buy a suit a week. So really, one a week? <laughs> one a week, man. Yeah. Fifty-two Fif- suits. Fifty-two a year. suits a year. Is that how it works? That would be a great TV show. Wouldn't that be a fun show to watch? <laughs> Fifty-two suits a year about a guy with a different suit each week. I'll do it. Is that what we do if we're Titans? Yeah, we could. Yeah, we are now. That you would should, be. You should literally would... pitch that to Super Deluxe, and they would buy it. <laughs> well, what, Super what if, Deluxe is that still around? <laughs> no. <laughs> what if you guys did a show like Tourgasm? Remember that uh, Dane Cook show where they I'm all went out on the road together, like the three of you guys carts. plus Jazz Jazz over here. I would you're do, all buying suits every week. I would do it if it was just the four of us beating Dane Cook in golf carts and him <laughs> getting frustrated. No, you mean segways? Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Play, 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 play. All, all the different scooters and stuff. We should Just do that. different kinds of scooters. I was going through all the letters I wrote to myself when I was 12. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to find the best ones to read on our show. I think that'd be good. <laughs> Are these references? Is anyone getting these yes. Torgasm references? I know that. I do know that. <laughs> I didn't see it. Go back and watch it. It's worth it. Yeah. I, no. How do you feel about Catch it? Up. Did you like that show? Oh, my God. I love it. would be, I think if you were going to shave it in my head, I would ask for like a smirk mm. with like a toothpick. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, sh- you're Latin about it? Like I'm, like I'm, <laughs> like, like you're Latin I, I about it. it. Like I'm, I'm a little Latin. Yeah, I'm you're Latin, Latin about it. He, he I'm Latin you. and I'm laughing about it a little bit, but I'm also I got I got something in my teeth mm. about it. Yeah, yeah, you can't eat through it. No, right. All right. Well, tell you what, Jazz, Jazz. I want to take a break before we we really get into okay the reason you're here. And of course, we have Jazz Jazz here, yeah. who yeah. Uh, yeah. is a barber yeah. from yeah. Uh, Sunnyside, Queens. Mm-hmm. Works mm-hmm. at Fades and Braids. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, tell us the real reason you're here. Why'd you? Uh, 46th Street and Queens Boulevard, by right, the way. Right. What What's the reason you came on the show? I'm just trying to, um, you know, see uh, you guys and maybe play your albums while we're cutting hair. You know, to keep everybody. What's this now? Huh. We're trying to make sure that, like, maybe you guys can come and do your stuff while I'm cutting hair so that people are entertained. Because right now, we don't have enough entertainment as the people are getting their hair cut. I see. What do people do right now? I remember back when I used to go to the barber, you'd read a magazine. Yeah. Like a People magazine. That's relatable, right? Yeah. 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 yeah I literally, when I look at people, I'm like, I relate to a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's my thought. If I see a People magazine now, I have to. I keep touching my hair. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Because it feels weird that it's not being cut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but do you have any magazines or any <clears throat> kind of anything for people to look at? I mean, we have a couple of magazines, but people aren't into the magazines. They want to be entertained. What by magazines are they? Dynamite. Uh, yeah, we got um, we got a, we got a bunch. We got People. We got you have um, a, a lot of People magazines. We got a lot of People magazines. Why don't people like to read them? People don't care about people, I guess. Hmm. I mean, there, you know what I mean. They want to be, they want to have like good times. Like we try to put a TV in there and show all the Harold and Kumar movies, mm-hmm. but they're over it. There's just too much plot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I can imagine like those movies are about two hours long. Yeah, right? yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't want to be at the barber for two right. hours. So that's why, I like, oh, maybe I could come over here, get some of you guys, you dudes, to come by and like, you know, just whisper jokes to people. Just whisper, w- whisper really. yeah, 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 yeah. Like sit next to them and just like kind of whisper it, because I don't want them to be like laughing where I like mess up what they love on the back of their head. You know what I mean? Sure. I don't want to mess it up. So, so but- you, you probably don't. It sounds like again, not to disagree with you. It sounds like you don't want stand-up comedians in there. I do because because if, if, if you're risking people laughing, it sounds like you should just show like the fugitive and it'll be fine. No, no one will move. They'll just stay glued perfectly. Yeah. I mean, that you don't want people. You don't want us. What if somebody laughs? I mean, just imagine what the disaster. Well, that's less it. It's more someone physically there whispering jokes. That's a stupid idea. You could just play an album if you want comedy in the place. Yeah, Nathan, yeah. you're you're the guy with the show about this. Yeah, you, you literally I mean, you, could help this business. Yeah, well, help so this let's guy do out. It. Come on, Nathan. Get him no, from your Come on, help this guy out. Do do what you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So show um, us the magic. We well, just I want. Know. I want people to be more entertained. Show uh, them the fugitive. Show them the fugitive. Would that I work? Like the fugitive and, and movies like the if you fugitive. You want to show a movie? Show them. But these these solid movies are too long. Thrillers. What he needs is short form entertainment. So yeah. Nathan, I saw. What do you got? Uh, I just saw a, uh, a great documentary um, called mm. The Imposter. Mm. 
Yeah, show him that. So he could come in and tell people that is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, I yeah. wouldn't tell people. I mean, that's a good. That unrelated to. The no, parrot. that's what you should. You would like it. describe the movie. You would no, come. I no, no. He would describe. Like, oh, there's a French that, guy. He would describe that story of watching it. No, no which was a pretty good story. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's really. I mean, just people should watch it. It's cool. No, not the fugitive, the the imposter. Not the fugitive, of the movie. The fugitive, of the TV show was good, but we're talking about a different thing entirely. Okay. Called the imposter. Yeah. Which is good. So you come over and you whisper people what it's about. The whispering thing is like doesn't it's a make really any bad business model. Well, I understand. I got what you said about making people laugh. It's going to make it bad for their head. But whispering okay. is also so just that- weird because what if you have to cut there? It's just it's honestly a bad plan. What about what if I came in and just like while you're cutting someone's hair, I just shook them. No, 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 dude. No, 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 no. Shake them for like 15, 20 minutes. You can shake them before. You shake them after so all the hair flies what? off. What if, what <laughs> if, Wait, if so I all the hair that you've cut? I, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you wouldn't need blow dryers. I don't need a blow dryer. Yeah, whatever that <laughs> is. <laughs> what if I squeeze their fist and then peed into their fist? Like while you cut their hair. Would that be a thing? Is that what you're into? I don't I'm know. I'm not Eugene, into it, but I think it would definitely be like, like you, they'd be like, oh, this is totally grabbing my attention. Like, like if you're like, one you of mean. the issues, I solve the attention problem. I'm no. just saying that. I mean, I understand that what and you did. it's short, it's brief. I mean, it, it, I'm just saying it covers a lot of the bases where you would pee into someone's closed fist. As just a thing. I, I would, it's just a business. I idea. would get that yeah. if everybody's, if it was wintertime and people's hands were cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. This is like a January, February thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. As long as people don't shake. I don't want, I don't want people to shake. No mess one would up. shake. People would sit perfectly still. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't promise. know. I swear, man. I would love to hire. We get you in there, Nate. You get in there. Nate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nate. Come on, Nate. Yeah, man. Get, get in there. In My there. name's Nathan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, dude. You know. What do you mean, come on, dude, you know? You know. What are you talking about? Come on, <laughs> man. You come, by, you come by the shop. This is what you do. Come by the shop. Just go like, no, it's oh, not let, what I let do. me tell you about this imposter, man. <laughs> let me tell you about it. You're adult. Huh? You're adult. <laughs> I'm an adult? No, you're adult. I know. Adult. A I know. Space I am. Dolt. I don't That's why, why I'm here, dude. That's why I'm running my business. Why do we have to go racial? I hate Nathan? this. I'm. That is that. <laughs> that no. is a racial. Yeah, That's the on. original. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. What, what man. Haven't you seen Django? <laughs> oh Come my on. god. It's really bad. Do you like that movie? Sorry if that was racial. Um, do you I, like yeah. Django? Did you I, see I, it? I liked it. Yeah. Come over and tell people about it. You know I, what I, mean? I can't believe it. I'm like. It normally sounds like not, what you really want is to get like normally not so a film critic. Like Roper or something to come by, or that guy who does the really fast talking movie minute in the cabs. Yeah, yeah. What if uh, that, what if that dude came by and yeah, just like described whether or not people? He doesn't describe the movie. He yeah. just describes whether or not people should see a movie. Yeah. You know, while someone's getting. It sounds caught. like what you really want is someone who describes movies, and that's literally without. To be frank, none of us do that. No, mm-hmm. but you guys are like the fu- titans, man. You guys are funny, yeah. so that you you know if they if they start not liking the movies that you're talking about, then you guys could tell a joke. But not too funny. You just no, whis- no, whisper just like the joke. whisper a joke. That's like again. It sounds like what you should really get is somebody doing a one man show that you could walk in and out of. You, know? you do one of those? Or no, I don't. But somebody might. You ever think Why about don't you doing play one of those? NPR? It sounds like what you want to do is play NPR. As I think about it, I, I see both sides of this. I kind of, I'm kind of with you, Jazz Jazz. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Jazz be- Jazz is with Jazz Jazz. What'd you call me? Jazz Jazz. Okay. I thought you said Jazz Jazz. I was like, that's not my name. It's no, no, Jazz no. Jazz. It's yeah. Jazz Jazz. Yeah, my name is, that's yeah. my, that's me. What, what appeals yeah. about this idea You understand the you? difference, though? I just feel like I've gotten my <laughs> hair cut before. <laughs> I've gotten my hair cut before, and I'm just like sitting there the whole time. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? See, I hate, that. actually, and this is true, going to the barber is one of my least favorite things, because I hate talking to the barber. Mm-hmm. I hate sitting there in silence, because then it's uncomfortable. Like, I, this idea appeals to me. Right. You don't just tell the barber, as soon as you sit down, you're like... I'm a comedian, cut my hair. And then you have something to talk about. <laughs> I hate that. The whole time. It's great. It's great. Yeah. You know, normally when you get your hair cut here in Hollywood, too, they always want to know what you do because they're aspiring actresses or something. And so they then try to get into your projects or something. Yeah. So uh, I, I just don't like the conversation. So I, I actually am really I find this appealing if, like, a jazz jazz would come over to me. You know, and just whisper jokes in yeah, my ear yeah, while I'm yeah. getting my hair cut. I think this is a great idea. Yeah. You know, how much would you offer to pay uh, comedians? Oh, they get half of the cut. Wait, so, half of the haircut? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the it's they, a legitimately good deal. I'm they saying. get a cut of the cut. They get a cut of the cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so not money. No, you no, no. Cut half their hair and then half my hair. 
No, you get. Uh, yeah, I can do. I can do that too. If that that's an good. even trade for you, that yeah, sounds good. <laughs> done. To me. Done. I was gonna say seven dollars. <laughs> so you charge fourteen. Fourteen dollars for a fade. Yeah. yeah. But if you if that's what you're into, <laughs> yeah, I think it makes sense. But I mean, there is there's the long. You have to whisper for longer. If I am putting braids in somebody's hair. Do you only mm-hmm. cut men's hair? Is there are women there? No, too? there's some women there. I mean, I'm also here. I'm here to see some entertainment so that I can bring you back to the shop. I'm also looking for a girl to be a new barber at, at, at the at the place. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Going around the horn here, I don't think any of us are girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping. No. Yeah. Shh. Sorry, when you hoping. hear a name like Jez Jez, you yeah, think yeah, yeah. maybe. I was like, maybe. And yeah. then I was like, oh, maybe Nate could go both ways or something. But then yeah. he's like Nathan or whatever. I, 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 no, yeah, he right. goes under Nathan, I, but when he's a lady, he goes under Nate. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. do. I do prefer Nathan from Nate. here on in. Then Nate. You All right, like so you're Nate? just doing that to annoy me, right? Nathan, I don't say Nathan. I say the whole thing, Nathan. It's okay. Nathan. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever you're, whatever you're comfortable with. You gonna come help me, dude? What? You gonna come help me, man? No, I'm come not gonna on. come. You help gotta you. sue them. I, I mean, you don't move even... to Queens to whisper in people's ears. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this your normal speaking tone? You don't even have to whisper that. I'm normally like a much nicer guy. Yeah, than this, you but sound you're bringing out something in me that you makes sound. Me- what, what is it? Is it his race? Is that what's no, happening? No, it's here? it's really that his idea is is terrible. He's gnawing at me. It's uh. I just think it I think sense. I think Nathan, you haven't been listening to a word he's been saying he, just from the get go because of I the way the color of his skin. It. No, what? what? I mean, here you called him that racial term, uh, adult. adult. Stop saying Stop, it, please. It's like nails on a can chalkboard. We, can we bleep this later, Anthony? Uh, you? Yeah. I had to go. I mean, yeah. I mean, I draw a line. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, where he draws. Uh, line. <laughs> Anthony, I draw a line. Adult. A two, Anthony. <laughs> I draw a line. Adult. That's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's the. That's. Wait, that's what race is dolt? Oh, come on, don't stop. God. Stop. All right. It's, it's the uh, worst. It's, it's the worst Italian-ish. race. Italian-ish. It's the worst no, race you can... A, Italian-ish. Yeah. Well, Jazz, Jazz, I don't know that any of these guys are going to move back to Queens with you. I'm so sorry. Not All even right. the ones who kind of live near there. I mean, obviously, I can't. I have a, an aspiring career in Hollywood.